channel. So today I am going to talk about a couple of my favorite houseplant related items. Um, everything that I have here, well most of everything that I have here, I'm going to link down in the description below. Most of them I got just off Amazon and they have definitely changed my life a lot. So I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna save the best for last. <laughs> So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is, this is just a generic insecticide for your houseplants. Um, there are tons of different products that you can purchase on Amazon or at your local nursery or at even at big box stores like Canadian Tire or Walmart, but um, I just buy a generic one and it seems to be perfect for me. Um, a lot of other YouTubers, plant YouTubers will promote other different other ones but this one I definitely use and I think this is something that you should always have on hand spider mites mealybugs they come out of nowhere <laughs> and sometimes they attack aggressively so you want to be able to have that you want to be able to have this there so you can control them so the second thing that I'm going to share with you today is some gardening shears, specifically ones for your houseplants. You don't want to start mixing up gardening, houseplant ones, and obviously your food safe ones, um, just because of diseases and stuff. And you want to make sure you're sanitizing them after every single use, before and after every single use. Um, these ones I literally got at the dollar store. And that's usually where I purchase these. Sometimes they last a long time, sometimes they don't, but they were literally like $2.50 or $3 or something, so I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> but if you like to propagate, this is something that is important. Also, they are good for when you have dead leaves. You don't wanna just pluck the leaves off. You wanna um, use scissors or wait till they're completely dead and they pretty much just fall off because when you're plucking off leaves, you're damaging your plant. So the third thing that I'm gonna talk about is something that I did find on Amazon. These are trays for the bottom, so kind of like a cash tray. You're gonna put it at the bottom of a, a pot that has drainage holes for the water to drain into so you're not making a mess. This particular um, set, this came in a set, I think this is the second largest, um, but it came in a set of three different sizes. What is that? Okay, it's just perlite. We're okay. So it came in a set of three different sizes and super affordable, they're durable. Um, like a heavier plastic and just this is, they're clear. So you can barely see them when you put a pot in it. So here I can, for example, I'll just reach, this is a very sad clathia. So yeah, there you have it. <laughs> this is obviously too big, but you would find the one that was for that plant. The fourth thing that I'm going to talk about again on Amazon is this little clip. There are many of these, on, there are many of these on the market but this one I found on Amazon and these are perfect. What these are used for is if you have like a top heavy leaf and a long stem for a plant, such as like an anthurium or a caladium. Um, I use these for my begonia maculatas and you basically will put like a chopstick or a, a stick or something in the middle close to the root. And then you're just going to prop this up with the clip. It doesn't harm your plant, There's, it's plastic. Um, as long as you're doing it correctly and it's not in the way of any growth, um, these are perfect for that. Again, I'll drop this link down in the description below. It's like a pack of like, I think 50. I had too many, so I gave half of them to my friend because I don't need that many. But so the second last thing that I'm gonna talk about today is this book, How Not to Kill Your House Plant. I discovered this book when my friend um, told me to buy it. <laughs> and I don't really like houseplant books. A lot of them are boring. It's like a Pinterest page, like, hi, my name is Karen, and this is my family of 14, and we like to have Sunday brunches, and this is now a 10 minute long bio of my entire life, and now here's the recipe. Okay, no, this is not that book. <laughs> so this book is extremely informative so a close-up on the book here so at the first couple pages it kind of tells you what, what's in here and then it says the basics so it tells you like when you should buy it it talks about the pests to re how to repot there's the plant pests it just gives you general, general information at the beginning and then you start getting into the plants 
So this plant is so, this plant book is so much fun in my opinion. It's fun to read. As you can see, it's just kind of like big pictures like of actual plants. And it tells you on the side here, the location, the light, watering, and care. And then it gives you tips. It, are there brown patches on your African mask? Is the plant dying back? And just tips on how to change that. And I have to update this, but I put um, little sticky notes whenever I get a new pot, a new plant. Aloe vera, anthurium. And like, it's just a fun book to read. I just find it fun and not boring. It gets straight to the point. It has fun facts. And then on the side, so this is an emerald fern, but then on the side here, sometimes it'll show plants that share the same care. So this asparagus fern and the oxalis, the shamrock plant, share the same care. So if any of these things happen, if you get brown edges on the leaves on this plant and it happens on this plant, it's probably the same thing. There's bug alert. So this one is prone to spider mites in the foliage. And yeah, and then every so often they'll do this. So top five plants for sunny spots. <laughs> There's some cactuses in here. And yeah, they have your fiddly fig. So there's a lot of different plants in here. It's a fun book to um, get, and I highly, highly, highly recommend this. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about today, which I think has definitely changed the game when it comes to house plants, is a trusty moisture this guy was about, I don't know, $18 on Amazon. There are a few different ones, but I think this is probably one of the most popular ones out there. And it literally tells you the directions on the back. <laughs> and it's very easy to use. Um, if you have problems with trying to figure out when to water your plant, you just stick this in your plant. As you can see, there's a few different settings, dry, moist, and wet, and then the level. And this just changes your life, especially if you're a beginner houseplant person. I'm a beginner houseplant person or houseplant mom. Um, I've only been doing this for over a year and I still use this. I use this weekly. Um, it's come in handy so many times and it's just been a very good use in my life. <laughs> It has just become a very good use in my life. So definitely this is a number one. This is my number one item that I tell everyone to get and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. You also wanna always make sure that this is clean. This is not clean. <laughs> and if you drop it, they are very sensitive. I've dropped it before and it never worked, but then I kinda like just tapped it again and it started working. So it is a meter, right? So you just wanna be careful with that. I accidentally forgot to mention one other item that I think is highly recommended. This is just a generic grow light that I got off Amazon. I just didn't have it with me. It has like three, I guess, I don't know what you call these, but there's three different lights, one, two, three, and you can move them. So like I have them right above my mantle because this is just a south, or sorry, north window. And yeah, um, very helpful when you have propagations. So this guy I propagate, but I keep him under a grow light for a long time until he gets happy and he's obviously not happy. <laughs> this ruby uh, ficus completely died, so I don't know. It's just helpful if you have propagations or plants that are struggling. Give them, give them that extra UV and they should be happy. Relatively priced, I have two of these and the link will be in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was informative. I hope you maybe um, purchase some of the products down below and it helps you in your plant journey, house plant journey. And you guys, until next time, XOXO MM.